With new drone pilots entering the market each and every day, picking up drones like this and charging next to nothing for commercial style work, it's becoming impossible to charge for the same, if not better, quality of work. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a successful drone-based mapping business with one easy to use software. Hey guys, Dylan Gorman here. For those of you who don't know who I am, I've been in the drone industry for a little over nine years. Over that span of time, I've built and sold multiple different drone businesses. And as of last year, I've been a part of ID Plan's drone operation that I have been able to build out successfully. Last year, we flew over 2,000 missions, totaling a little over 120,000 flight hours across all of my pilots. And to stick to today's video theme of mapping, we mapped a little over 110,000 acres. So let's get into why 2022 is the year to get into mapping. Before we take a deep dive on drone mapping as a business, we need to go over the fundamentals of what drone mapping is. The actual practice of drone mapping is known as photogrammetry. Photogrammetry is the science of making measurements from photos. In better terms, if you've ever looked at Google satellite imagery, then you're already familiar with photogrammetry as it's the same concept. In order to create photogrammetric maps, you're gonna to need to use a piece of software that's gonna help automate your drone flight in order to fly a certain path, as well as capture the imagery that is needed to create your photogrammetric image. One of those softwares that can help you with that automation is Drone Deploy. This is the perfect segue into our sponsor for this video. Drone Deploy is the number one drone mapping software in the world. There's a reason why they have 5,000 clients and why I've been using them for the last three years. Drone Deploy will help you plan your flight mission, automate your flight, process your imagery, and best of all, allow you to view your drone images and your drone maps from anywhere in the world from their cloud-based platform. If you want to learn how to get a 30-day free trial, please stay tuned till the end of the video or check out the description down below. Before we go into the field and go over how to properly plan and capture a drone mapping mission, let's go over why drone mapping is useful. An ortho mosaic is more than just a high resolution map of an area. There are several different kinds of data metrics that you can extract to help solve real world problems. With Drone Deploy's easy to use software, they make it extremely easy to extract all these different kinds of data metrics, such as volumes of stockpiles or cut and fill or different kinds of elevation on site. And like I said, Drone Deploy provides all of this on their cloud-based software, so there's no need to carry around a very powerful laptop or computer to do any of these processing. It's all done right there in the cloud. One powerful example that I love to use when explaining the value in drone mapping is when I helped a client save over $60,000 because a contractor had lied about the stockpile of dirt. As funny as that sounds, this happens every single day in the construction world where people are lying about how much there really is on site so that they can get more and maybe even sell it and make money on top of it. And this was the exact case. We went to four months in and saw that they had more than enough dirt. They actually had three times the amount of dirt than what they reported that they had. We came in, we pulled our report, thanks to Drone Deploy, and with their AI stockpile tool, we selected the stockpile that was in question and it generated a full volumetric report within three seconds my client was blown away that we had that kind of information on their property. Now to get one thing straight, as this has been a concern and some comments that I've heard in the past, most of our clients don't require us to use GCPs. What GCPs are, they're called ground control points. These are points that surveyors will use in order to validate the accuracy of basically anything that goes on on a property. For the sake of this video, we're not gonna show the practice of using GCPs as that's not something that most of my clients ask for but in the event that a client does ask for that, we will abide by whoever they used for surveying and or whatever they have in place for us to use as GCPs. So before we show you how to properly set up a flight mission out in the field, I want to explain what equipment is needed in order to get into the drone mapping business. For one, the software that I'm using, you're going to need to find a software that you like to use. I'm going to be using Drone Deploy for the sake of this video. And on Drone Deploy's website, they list the supported drones and the supported devices. I usually like to use an iOS device in order to run the application. Uh, I find that the iOS variant of the app 
runs typically better. And then as for the actual equipment, again, you know, your standard safety vest, PPE stuff, whatever you need to operate on a site. But then when it comes down to the actual equipment, in this video, I'll be using an Inspire 2. That's just the drone of choice that I like to use across all of my projects. 99% of the time, most of my pilots aren't flying with that. Most of them are flying with a Phantom 4 Pro V2 or a Mavic 2 Pro. As of right now filming this video, I know that the Mavic 3 is not supported just yet. There's a workaround, but it doesn't work that well. So just wait until Drone Deploy officially says that it is supported. So let's get into how to properly set up a flight mission. Now, there's two ways to do it. You can either do it at the comfort of your office, uh, do it right on your computer, or you can do it on the field. For the sake of this video, since you know I wanna go out in the field and, and show you really how to get a flight mission done, let's jump in the field and, and see how it's done. So now that we've gotten to our location that we're going to be doing our drone map at, why don't I go ahead and grab the controller, jump on to drone deploy, and I will show you live exactly how to create a map of what you're going to scan, and you can do it in basically 30 seconds. All right, now that I am on the iPad here, one thing I do want to say is, before you even do anything at the site, it's always a very good practice to not only check your surrounding area and see what obstructions may be around, Right above me there's a power line, so I'm not gonna launch from this exact location. I'm probably gonna launch um, a little bit more closer to the road. But two, one of the most important parts of you know having a part 107 is also knowing the airspace. This specific area requires me to have a waiver. I have already went and got that waiver already in place. I already have all my authorization, so I am good to fly here. But just because you have a part 107 and you're running an automated mission doesn't throw your permissions away to go ahead and do whatever you want to do. You still have to go and obtain any waivers or any Lance waivers that you need to. So looking here at the iPad application here, let's go ahead and load Drone Deploy. All right, so now that I am on the Drone Deploy application, it's super easy. Go ahead and click the blue project button. And if you're using a GPS uh, device or a device that's connected to the internet, it's automatically gonna load your current location. So as you can see, I am right here on the corner, North Howard here on this building right behind me. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Create Project, and I'm just gonna call this Drone Deploy Test, or Drone Deploy Demo, actually. Now, once I have it created, I'm gonna go ahead and click Standard on the map and model. Now this is just a little too big. I want this just to be the property. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag each one of these points here. And if you do have kind of a weird shaped property, you have, you can basically create unlimited points, um, as many points to your heart desire, basically. I'm just gonna go ahead and close this off right here. Great, now that I have the property selected, I wanna drop this down to 140 feet. I have 150 feet uh, allocated to me that I'm allowed to fly in. Uh, but I'm going to fly at 140 feet because Drone Deploy actually puts the drone 10 feet higher before it gets to its first waypoint. Um, so now that I have kind of the grid pattern set up, I want to go here into Advanced. And um, if you're already connected to the drone, you don't have to do this. But just to show you how cool this uh, piece of software is, um, once you have the exact drone you're going to be flying, so I'm going to be using the Inspire 2 with X5S camera and a 15 millimeter lens. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And you notice how we went from 5 minutes to 3 minutes. We still have a few more adjustments to make. I actually want to do a crosshatch pattern because I want to show the ability to do 3D models within Drone Deploy. So we'll see that after this gets processed. So again, I'm just going to alter this a little bit. And 160 feet is already good. This is a four-story building. It's not ridiculously tall, uh, but I'm giving myself just enough clearance uh, in case there's anything else I need to do. Um, oh, cool. So now that that is all set, all I have to do is go ahead, get the drone set up, throw the drone up in the air, and um, it's only gonna take six minutes to, to fly this property. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get flying. So one thing that I like to do before I throw the drone up in the air and do its automated flight is I like to do a manual flight first so that I can check potential obstacles could be anything from like what I was saying, power lines, trees, even tall buildings in the area. You, know, you want to make sure that the area that you're operating in doesn't have any obstacles that you're trying to have to try and avoid because nine times out of ten it won't avoid it and you will hit something. I have found that out the hard way in the past. First I'm going to go ahead and get the drone up, see what's around and we'll go from there. So 
So far we're looking pretty good. I'm at 140 feet, just like the mission plan that I set, and there's there's nothing in the way. I mean, you can hear the drones right above me. Now that I've went ahead and checked it out, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the drone down, do a little more prep, and then we're gonna go ahead and send the drone back up in the air and uh, do its flight mission. She is ready to go. Flight commands are getting sent to the drone right now, and uh, she should initiate. All right, so now that the mapping is done, again, that was really quick, it only took six minutes, but imagine on a bigger scale, it will obviously take longer. What we're gonna go ahead and do is get this drone back home. Let's go ahead and upload the data, the imagery, the photos that were taken from this property. And yeah, that's basically it. It's, it's extremely easy to do. Still takes an understanding of the proper practices in terms of what you're trying to capture. Specifically this one, I wanted to do the 3D models. This is what my typical workflow would look like when trying to capture a 3D model of a property that doesn't require GCPs for a client that wants to see it or wants to have progress updates on their properties. All right, so now that we've returned from the field and we're back in front of the computer, let's go ahead and jump into Drone Deploy and just show how easy it is to upload the images that you just captured out in the field onto Drone Deploy's cloud-based software. So now that we're in our dashboard, you can see that I have a ton of projects here. I'm just gonna go ahead and search our drone deploy demo right there. And then we're just gonna go ahead and hit upload. And as you can see, we have a master site scan. We're gonna go ahead and click start upload. We're gonna go and select our photo. So here is my SD card from the drone. We're gonna go ahead and just select all of the images here, except for this last one and hit okay. And there we go, we can see where all of the images were taken on the property. As it was flying, it's 1.5 gigs. We go ahead and just click upload and now we wait. All right, so I just got the notification from Drone Deploy that the map that we just uploaded is now fully processed. The way we get to this page here, we just have to go to explore underneath the project that we're working on. And great, we can go ahead and already start kind of zooming in. What's really cool is you can see the Google Maps uh, version, the satellite imagery versus what we captured here. This is where Drone Deploy starts to get fun. And what I mean by that is where we actually get to use some of the different tools that it has built in. So for one right now, we're just looking at the top down view right here. We're looking at the map view of the property and such as the tools that I want to start using. Let's just get the area of the rooftop. This would be perfect for maybe this is someone that's contracted to work on this roof. So we can go ahead and just get them a rough outline of this property. And here's our total area. We have about just a little over 9,000 square feet of rooftop, give or take a little bit here and there, but generally this would be a good starting point for a roof contractor or a roof specialist that could be potentially working on this, right? We have our we have our inspection, we have our, our visuals of the roof, and we can also give them the surface area. Now let's get into the real reason why I wanted to shoot this property in the cross-hatched perimeter scan is we're gonna go ahead and click the model button down here. Just keep in mind that this is all being loaded in from the cloud. None of this is being processed on my computer. This is all being streamed. As you can see, there's a loading bar here at the top, just streaming in the data. And look at this, we have an entire 3D model of this building. We can see the immense amount of detail just on this rooftop here. We can see that you know, there's some random rags here. We can also tell that the roof slopes down from the middle and then has a barrier here um, of the rooftop. And this roof definitely is not in great shape. Uh, a lot of this building is really not in great shape, but this is the whole purpose of doing drone mapping and having a 3D map of property is you get a full perspective of not just what you're seeing from the ground and what you're seeing on foot, but you're getting that full aerial perspective. Then you can make real world actions based off of the data that you can extract out of here. Overall, just I just find this a really cool and easy to use tool for just about anybody in any industry to either get into or use on a day-to-day -day basis. You just elevated your prices and you just created a whole lot more value around the product that you're selling. This is exactly why I love Drone Deploy and, and why I couldn't recommend it enough. It's why I've been using it for over three years and why my clients love it as it's just so easy to use. They can just load it on their browser, which they have share features here. You can export. I mean, there's a million different things that you can do 
with drone deploy that I haven't even touched on. So now that we've kind of gone over everything that has to do with drone mapping, such as the equipment, the software, and what kind of data metrics you can extract from it, how are you gonna build a successful business off of it? Well, for one, it does take a little bit of luck, but also it kind of takes some drive. For me, I used a few contacts that I had that I knew were in some specific industries that may be interested or may already be familiar with drones in general. And with the 30 day free trial that you can get with Drone Deploy, it's not gonna cost you anything. You can go out, you can do a few scans and then show them kind of the end result of, hey, this is what I'm able to provide to you. This is my value as opposed to just me going out and shooting some photos or some videos for your property. To kind of break it down a little bit of some of the specific industries that I was talking about, with agriculture, Drone Deploy actually has some specific tools in place to help you with crop monitoring. It'll tell you its health, it'll tell you if it's not getting enough water. They actually have a specific package on their website called Ag Light. With it, it has everything that you need to get into the agriculture world. When it comes to doing inspections, if you know an uh, insurance company that's maybe using drones or has used drones in the past, this would be an excellent place to pitch the need for drone mapping for properties, right? If, if you're in an area that has hurricanes or earthquakes or fires, drone mapping is a big topic, especially nowadays as it's pretty easy to come by to go out and map these properties and have a digital asset of that property. When it comes to construction, whether it's a multifamily home or you know a single residential home, you can either talk to a broker that's working on a home. You can go and scan and build a 3D model of it with the drone, or it can be a contractor or a developer. One of my first contacts that I had was in the commercial real estate world and they were a developer. I said, hey, rather than getting photos every week, $75 photos every week, of the property being built, I'm gonna charge you triple that because I know that this has value. And with that case study that I had, the $60,000 that we saved, that was the first ever property and the first ever client that we had that this actually came to light. This is the power of drones and this is the power of drone mapping. Again, I wanna thank Drone Deploy for sponsoring this video. And like I said before, I've been using Drone Deploy for three years. Prior to this sponsorship, Drone Deploy has never paid me before. I've been paying for it out of my pocket and we still pay for it to this day. But because of Drone Deploy, if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't have been able to carry out over 2,000 flight missions just last year, as well as provide the kind of data on just under 5 billion square feet of property. It's easy to use, it's cloud-based, so literally anybody can use it. It's a very lightweight application, hence it being cloud-based, where I can even look at maps on my phone, I can look at it on my iPad, I can look at it on my computer, I can look at it just about anywhere, and everyone's gonna really understand the concept and be able to use it to the fullest extent. What's also really great about Drone Deploy, since it's cloud-based, and I know I keep hammering down on that, but it's it's such a big feature of Drone Deploy is its cloud processing. Gone are the days of needing very beefy computers that's able to process these hundreds, if not thousands of images very quickly and very accurately. Before, you used to have to send it to a server farm or you used to have to build a very big computer, a very powerful computer to go through and process all these things. With Drone Deploy being a cloud-based, it allows it to cut down that time and essentially free your mind of having to worry about investing into more equipment. It's one price, it covers everything that you need. I would recommend it to everybody. And finally, the coolest part about Drone Deploy is all of the features. With all of its AI tools, such as the stockpile and the counting, and to even some of the basic stuff, such as doing measurements, cut and fill models. Drone Deploy does it all, and they are continuously innovating. And one of my favorite features that they recently just came out with is their 360 walkthrough feature. You can literally record a video with a 360 camera walking around a property as an inspection and throw it into Drone Deploy and great. Now you have the full outside of the property all the way down to the inside and the person that's viewing it doesn't have to jump between several different applications. It's all in one and all in the cloud. And again, if you wanna get a 30 day free trial to play with everything in Drone Deploy free of cost, it's gonna blow your mind. Check out the description down below to learn more. If you've made it this far, thank you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just throw it down below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it as effectively as possible. If you liked the video, please give it a like and I will see you guys in the next one.